Christine website. Bolina standing by right now. Good morning, Christine. Have you upgraded <laughs> your iPhone? Uh, no, I have mm. not upped my iPhone. I have since I've seen you guys. Last, okay. Which, uh, you know, I think it was one step up from a flip phone, but I'm waiting for <laughs> you to get the Apple iPhone that dispenses like whipped cream and chocolate all together. Yes, I'm, uh, you know? that is uh, all of my iPhones. I, I know they were talking about recycling yesterday are all carb free. Uh, all iPhones <laughs> carb free. So that's very important. <laughs> um, Christine, you still got your three, right? <laughs> By the by the way, oh, I, I, that wasn't me, Christine. That was Andrew. I want to I want to I I come back to last hour. Tanya Powers uh, from Fox News saying hello when we had teased that you were going to be on. Uh, she was hello. on with us and uh, she remembers you very well and wishes you the best uh, from Tanya Powers. So, uh, thank you. She was a good product of Mississippi. Yes, that is very true. That is absolutely yeah. true. One uh, of the few. Yeah. Okay, so now we're downgraded to a category two. Is this reached, uh, the, there's category two, well, there's four, there's three, there's two, there's one, there's dud. So uh, what do you think? Or is it still a scary storm? So they're, they're kind of poising it in the news as though, okay, this is our worst case scenario and this is our best case scenario. So best case scenario is still maybe 30 to 70 mile an hour winds still possible in some areas. The okay. Sand Hills region of North Carolina is still expected to get a lot of rain. They do still expect flooding. They still have the shelters open. I think I told you yesterday, um, three of the shelters that they did not expect to get full were already full by yesterday. Now, <clears throat> this is before we're even supposed to get any hint of landfall. Yeah. So we don't even know if they're still going to open the shelters. I pulled over to talk to you guys at a gas station. The gas station has been closed since Monday. Wow. There is there is a gas truck, and there's the only other car in the parking lot is the guy at the air and vac machine cleaning out his car. So oh, it's, Well, it's and, and isn't that, I mean, you, all it takes is the threat of one of these big storms, and it just destroys commerce. It really, really yeah. does. Shuts everything the other down. Thing, the other thing is that, you know, the schools have been closed. So yesterday when they announced it was a Category 2, the schools announced about 15 minutes later that they were they were going to close completely on Thursday. And prior to that, they had only said that they were going to do a half a day on Thursday. But they closed because they still need people in shelters because of the low-lying areas. They're still concerned about flooding, and they need some of the schools to service shelters. So school is still closed Thursday and Friday. The county offices um, for, for many of the counties are closed Thursday and Friday, and that's so that their workers <clears throat> can participate in the state emergency response teams, the folks yeah. that are going around. Uh, the bigger question is, you know, are things going to be back up to normal by Monday? Because they do expect flooding. They still do expect some power outages, regardless of, you know, how this thing hits. And so, you know, will things be back up and running yeah. by Monday? The one great thing is it's been kind of a great emergency dry run for many people. Mm -hmm. um, a, one of the bad things about it is that it's been very, very stressful. I was talking to two teachers yesterday, and they were both saying that, you know, kids, teenagers, they were just exhausted. Like they were in hyper mode, hyper worry mode. Yeah. yeah. You know? So I know mine went, to, came home yesterday and by seven o'clock they were both in bed and they were both asleep still when I went to work this morning. So, well, and you know, you know uh, here, here's what, um, this is what they're currently saying today. It's category two It's expected to crawl near or along the coast of the Carolinas through Friday It'll produce uh, catastrophic flash flooding and major river flooding. They're talking about feet of rain. Um, I mean, this. so for being downgraded, this is still pretty serious. Life-threatening so storm surge. Um, hurricane and storm surge warnings have been issued. Um, tropical storm as well. But it looks like um, by the models right now that Wilmington um, and that area to the south of you uh, along with uh, along with Myrtle Beach, probably taking a pretty well Wilmington, especially taking a direct hit. Yes, and uh, when the storm was first, you know, developing, they thought Wilmington was going to be hit, and then it shifted, and so then they thought, you know, Wilmington isn't going to be hit so bad, and then yeah. it shifted back. Yeah. So you know, and they're talking eight inches of rain an hour in some places. Wow. Well, that's a lot and of the rain. The ground just can't absorb that. Yeah. So there's wow. going to be a lot of flooding. Too. Yeah, so I, I think what we're looking at what could have been just the destroying, just wiping everything out of Category 4 down to a Category 2 is is certainly, uh, is certainly a lot better. But 
uh, still, I think this this is going to be really, really bad. So, Christy, mm-hmm. what's with this Waffle House thing? Like, apparently everybody's talking about how Waffle House, even though they never close, like it's so serious, even they may be closing, that this is some <laughs> uh, indication of if you should uh, leave or not? That's our barometer of emergency preparedness. <laughs> yeah, okay. Waffle House, House, House yeah. barometer, I like and, that. And Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is the other one. But they all are, are closed on Sundays anyway. But, <laughs> yeah. yes, they close. Um, after work, it's insane. Any mealtime, the lines around those places are incredible. Like, oh. you cannot get in. They're both so good. That's <laughs> and how do they get supplies in? I mean, nobody else can get supplies in. How do they get supplies in? Well, I think that's the issue. That they're, you know, That's why they're closing. Because yeah. nobody... Yeah, even they can't even get the in. grocery stores have said no more water. You know, our warehouses are dry. We can't get trucks in here until after the hurricane. Well, tomorrow is yeah. going to be the interesting day to speak with you uh, because uh, this might actually be, depending on how quickly this moves in, uh, you might be you'll be experiencing certainly some difficult weather tomorrow. We will. It's supposed to hit hit in quotation marks uh, about two a.m. in our area. So, okay. um, the the brunt of it. So yes. As long as we have power, I'll be happy to join you guys. All right. Well, let's see what happens there, Christine. We wish you the best. Stay safe over there in uh, North Europe. Probably in a better place uh, right now than uh, had you been south or certainly Myrtle Beach and in in that area. But, uh, you know, still is going to be touch and and go. Yeah. All right, uh, Christine, we'll talk again tomorrow. Thank you so much. Okay, thanks. All right, Christine Bellino in uh, uh, North. She's in the Raleigh area of uh, North Carolina, so she's. Uh, further away from the coast, but um, I got to tell you, this could be, this still could be really, really bad.